some more about how to train the new people who would want to help. They came up with several good ideas and decided to see how many volunteers they had before determining which plan to use. When the meeting broke up, Greg asked Mark if he had a minute. The two men walked out of the sheriff's office onto the courthouse lawn. I just want to apologize to you for not being more forthcoming when Kurt brought me over to visit your place. I should have told you we had a group, but I didn't know if I could trust you or not at that point, Greg began. That's okay, Mark responded. As I remember, I didn't trust you enough to answer all of your questions either. I guess the trust has to be built up slowly. He paused. I'm still amazed that you all were able to get a group together before the stuff hit the fan. It seems to me that it would be hard to keep everyone on the same page. Heck, even when the solutions look obvious to me now, there is always at least a dissenter or two in the group. Yes, we have that problem too sometimes, but most of the time everybody gets along pretty well. And when they don't, majority rules. Kurt, who had walked up on the conversation, concurred. I wanted to let you know that Kurt and I were both amazed at how much Silver Hills had accomplished in less than a month. It took us over a year to get basically to the same point at Promise Point. It's a real testament to your leadership.